Cat's Corner. My name is Kat and I work at the Greater Vancouver Zoo and we're bringing you a special presentation behind the scenes with our hippo and our zookeeper Martha. And Martha's going to go over some fun facts and enrichment that she has planned for our hippo. So let's take a look. Hi everyone. Today I've got with me our, hip our hippo Kazina. Just enjoying some cottonwood browse right now. So that's a very popular enrichment with our hippos. They love the nice juicy leaves. So when I get her to open her mouth like that, I'm just looking inside to see if she has any injuries, any cuts, any scrapes. Get a nice good look at those big teeth. Get these big ones up front. Those are what they're gonna use to fight with. So hippos do lots of fighting in the wild. They're very territorial and very protective of their offspring. Those teeth far in the back that you can see there, that's what they're actually going to chew their food with. So they rip everything off with their lips and move it all the way to the back of their mouth and chew it up just like a cow would. So Hazina's 16 years old right now and hippos can live to be about 40 years old and that's both in captivity and in the wild because a full grown hippo doesn't have many predators in the wild. Man is their only predator. So Hazina, at 16 years old, she's fully mature. She's as big as she's going to get. And right now, she weighs at about 3,500 pounds. So that's 3,500 pounds. That's a lot of hippo. Most of that, heavy muscle, heavy bone, and blubber. That buff blubber you would think would help them to float. It's not actually true. Because of all that heavy muscle and heavy bone, they're considered neutrally buoyant. So they're gonna kinda coast around in the middle of the water column. So they push off the bottom and come to the surface to breathe. They can't actually swim. Can you believe that? Hippos can't swim. So I've actually just got a treat here for them. It's a watermelon. Hippos love watermelons. Look at all that juicy goodness. There you go. That one's a bit frozen, so she's having some trouble chewing it. But hippos have incredible bite force. They have very, very strong jaws. That'll keep her busy for a while. <laughs> Maybe we need to work on the table manners, okay? <laughs> She wants another one. Okay. There you go. Lots of juice in that one. So that's a pretty special treat. We don't usually give them many sugary snacks because it's a lot of sugar. Hippos usually eat grass. Grass hay. They are herbivores. They're not going to be eating meat. They're eating grass. We also give them a pelleted green seed here at the zoo, and that just substitutes kind of the grass seeds and stuff that they'd be eating in the wild. Hippos can spend up to 10 hours a night just grazing on grass, and they can travel for 10 kilometers. They come up out of the water and graze around on the flat grasses of Africa. They spend all day sleeping in the mud. You can imagine if you spend all day out in the African sun, you'd be getting a sunburn. But that's not true for hippos. They actually have a very unique secretion in their skin called blood sweat. Now blood sweat is not blood and it's not sweat, but it's a unique secretion for hippos that acts as a sunscreen, a moisturizer, and an antibiotic. They're getting lots of cuts and scrapes on their skin because they do like to fight. They've got those big teeth in their mouth and they live in very dirty waters in Africa. So the antibiotic parts of their skin and the secretion, it helps to keep their skin healthy. It helps to heal up any cuts and scrapes that they might be getting. If you'll notice, you look at Hazina's head, she's got her eyes, ears, and nostrils all on the top of her head. And that's so that she can be completely submerged in the water and still hear, see, and breathe. You might just see two tiny little nostrils come up out of the water and then go back down. And they can actually hold their breath for up to five minutes. 
Our hippos don't usually do that because they have no need to hold their breath for five minutes. They have a pretty easy life here in the zoo. So Hazina's got a lot of cleanup left to do. Maybe we'll leave her to it. 